What's up guys, Sweets here. I guess you're all here because you're stuck in either silver or gold, but I'm gonna help you with that with 5 easy steps that you should think about when you play ranked in League of Legends. So let's move right into it. Number 1. You have to accept that you suck at this game. <laughs> but wait, let me explain. A lot of you think that you're stuck in this ELO because your teammates are bad, which is true, they are bad. But that is not stopping players from climbing that ELO and get to that higher rank. So what's stopping you from climbing the ladder like I did to high diamond? I was in the same position as you guys like 2 years ago, I was stuck in gold 3, didn't rank down, didn't rank up. So after a while flaming at people, saying my team is bad, crying to my diamond friends, I started to realize that I sucked. And there's also a video footage of that on my channel right now, there's a video called Stuck in Gold 3. Or Stuck in Gold I think. So I started playing the game to improve instead of always winning and climbing. That helped me a lot with my uh, losses, I didn't feel bad for losing. I just tried to improve, try new champions, try new builds, try whatever, try roaming a lot more and stuff like that. So in conclusion, realize that you're not the best support in your elo and start to focus on improving instead. So for number 2, you have to already have number 1. You need to start playing to improve and not for winning. So number 2 is map awareness and warding. And now you're thinking, oh my god, Switz, I know that supports are supposed to ward and have map awareness. But you need to look for specific things. You, you can't just check the map and say, yeah, my top line is still top, my mid line is still mid. You have to make a conclusion where the enemies are and make a play after that. So I'm going to show you an example of map awareness. Uh, the enemy jungler just died at the same time as our jungler went B. So he can't be further away than our own jungler. So when I engage here, I knew that our jungler just have just got into the jungle and we can kill this karma pretty fast. So it's okay for me to engage here. But if you want to go really basic, you should look for the enemy jungler and your own jungler. If the enemy jungler is topside jungle, it's okay for you to engage, make a risky play or maybe put out that ward in tribush that you were scared of earlier. But if you don't know where the enemy jungler is and you see your own jungler near bot side, maybe uh, taking grump or something like that, uh, it's, it can be okay for you to engage if you let him know and the AD carry know that you're engaging. Uh, because then he can maybe counter gank if the enemy jungler shows up. For number 3 we have the most important thing on this list. If you want to win the game, you can't just win your lane and be fine with that. You have to win on the whole map. So how do you win on the whole map? By roaming of course. So let's say you and your AD carry get the first blood bot lane. You both go B. Then you should look for the opportunity to roam. So what should you look for? You should mainly look on mid lane and top lane. If they're pushed in or not. Let's say your victor mid lane gets pushed in. He's standing on the turret and farming. That's a golden opportunity for you to roam in. There's not a lot of support in this elo that roams so early. So the enemy uh, mid laner won't expect a thing. So you might not get a kill 100% of the times. But you will often get a summoner spell from the enemy mid laner. But even if you don't even get the summoner spell, you will get a lot of pressure to the lane and the enemy mid laner will be really scared throughout the whole game of you roaming again. But you don't have to roam early for it to be effective. You can roam as long as the laning phase is going on. You just need to make sure that your AD carry can farm alone against two enemies. But you don't have to roam when the enemies are in lane. You can use the opportunity when they're going back to buy and you don't have stuff to buy so you can uh, roam towards mid lane or maybe even top lane to get a free kill or a summoner from the enemy mid or top laner. Tip number 4 is comfort picks and counter picks. It's important to pick a comfortable champion when you're trying to climb and improving in the game. And the reason behind that is because you want to focus on improving your map awareness, roaming and playstyle and not your item build or mechanics. I'm not going to tell you all the counters about all champions. Uh, you should know most of it by now but for example you should not pick Soraka into the Thresh Kalista bot lane. And for last, number 5 is solo queue, duo queuing. You can't have the same playstyle when you're solo queuing as when you're duo queuing with an ADC. Because your solo queue ADC maybe won't be ready for that flash hook in an early laning phase. So my tip is to play safe in early game and see how much potential your ADC have. And then maybe go more aggressive and playmaking if you think your ADC can handle it. And then try to type a lot when you're roaming and use the smart pings on your mana and health bar. So your ADC won't go all in when you have no mana left. Okay guys, that was my 5 tips or uh, ways to climb the ladder. But wait, there is more. I don't want to leave you just yet. 
I have mashed up a motivational montage for you guys before you queue up and get to that higher rank. So let's start the motivational montage. Don't